What's up guys, it's Techno Viking 23 coming to you with some Destiny and our continued look at House of Wolves. Now today we're actually going to be hunting some wolves for Petrovenge, one of the new uh, vendors and quest givers in the Vessian outpost in the reef. She's going to give you some bounties. Every, uh, every These are going to reset every week. I do not believe as of right now they are daily. Every, every week to reset you're going to get a new set of bounties from her that you can turn in for uh, Queen's Wrath reputation. And hopefully some other rewards further down the road. We'll see. But today we're going to be talking about uh, the Wanted Wolf Scavengers, the Queen Breaker Vandals, and the Howling Raiders. So the first part we're going to do here, we're looking for the Wanted Wolf Scavengers in the Halls of Wisdom on the Moon. A group of wolf scavengers were spotted making runs into Hive territory. Don't care what they're up to, put them down. You can see there you'll get 100 Queen's Wrath and 3,500 experience. So, pretty straightforward here. This one, you're in the Halls of Wisdom. You're going to come to the moon. You can see right here, we're in the kind of starting area of the moon where you first come. And we're going to skip this public event and jump right into this little building here. Grab the engram with our awesome green armor that we need at level 30. <laughs> and we're going to head down this way into the Hive Fortress. Normally, there's two major Hive Knights out here guarding it, but they're not here today. That's good for them, because we would have had to kill them. So we're going to head on down these uh, stairs, this little spiral staircase here. You can just bypass it. You don't have to go all the way down it. Now, if you guys have not been through this area before, there is actually a gold chest down this little pathway there that will give you an item if you haven't already picked that up. All right, so here you see we are in the Halls of Wisdom. This first little area, there are a couple of hive. We're just going to come down here and kill these guys short work of them. There's a knight over here somewhere. He's hiding over here in the corner, I guess. And there's also a wizard over here. You can go ahead and kill her, or you can just run past. Doesn't matter. Where you want to go is, uh, you want to go off to the left side here, into this room where you would normally head if you were doing the Shrine of Oryx mission. And instead of Hive, you're actually going to find a bunch of uh, Fallen in here. You're going to see here, you're going to have a Captain. These guys are all going to be level 28, so take them out. You get a bunch of Dregs that are going to run out at you. You're going to mow them down with extreme prejudice. And then when you make your way up to the back area by this door here, you are going to find the Wolf Scavengers. Now, there are three of them. They are Dregs. And they are pretty easy, as you can see, to kill. Take them down pretty quick. You'll get a Grimoire card if you haven't killed them yet. You can see there are also got a Token of Judgment. That is a special House of Wolves item uh, that drops from these uh, bounty guys sometimes. You can trade those in with Varix for certain things. You can see there we got our bounty completed pretty quick and pretty easy there for that part. Now, moving on, we're going to... Uh, let's see. Let's take a look here, first of all. So there we go, we got the Wolf Scavengers Completed Feral Wanted Bounty. We have two more of these to do that are going to be on Venus, so let's get right to it. Alright guys, for this next part, we are going to be doing the Howling Raiders. Hunt the Howling Raiders in the Hall of Whispers on Venus. You can see there, there are two of them. Skullus has sent some of his best thieves into the Archive. Don't let them leave alive. Again, you're going to get 100 Queen's Wrath. Uh, reputation for this and 3500 experience so to find the hall of whispers you are going to want to come to the ishtar commons on venus uh you guys should remember this from doing several missions some strikes on venus basically you come through the ishtar academy and you'll end up in this common area with the crashed fallen ship there's a bunch of vex and fallen fighting if you haven't found it already there is a dead ghost up on top of this roof right there and there's also one over here in one of the elevators on the side so what we're going to do is we are going to head on in to uh if you guys remember the mission the archive you're actually going to go to that same area the hall of whispers is actually the room where you fight simix 3 uh the major servitor before you head down into the archive when you're running the normal campaign mission so we're going to just make our way in here taking our sweet time and you'll see here we are hall of whispers now there are just some regular normal level 11 guys kind of hanging out here on the bottom uh, the vandals that you are looking for are actually going to be up on the top uh, top area up here, on the top balcony. So we're going to make our way up the steps here, and then you will see there's actually some trip mines up here. And there is a 
couple of stealth vandals, apparently, that I forgot about. And let's see here, we gotta take out some drags. And then you can see here for drags, and you can see there are actually some trip mines they have set up, and you can see they're the Howling Raider. There's two of these guys you want to take out. I'm just going to kind of snipe them from a distance with the scout rifle. They will try to hide on you, but just pretty easy to take these guys down. And there you see wanted Howling Raiders. So that is the second part of our wolf hunt, and it is complete. So now we are going to move on to the next part, which is also on Venus. Just making sure these guys don't try to sneak up on me while I am talking. There he is. Take you, stab you in the face. All right, so for the next part, we are going to be heading to the Cinders, and we are going to be looking for the wanted Queen Breaker Vandals in the Cinders on Venus. So we're going to head out that way right now. All right, guys, we're back here. We are now in the Cinders on Venus. If you guys remember the uh, House of Winter mission you do in the campaign where you have to kill Draxus the Winter Kel, this is exactly where you're going to come to do that. So you're coming to that same area. Also, if you've done the Archon Priest Strike on Venus, you're going to come through this area. So you'll, you should know how to get here. Uh, you basically go through the Ember Caves and cut through Winter's Lair, and you'll get to the Cinders. Now, the target we are looking for on this one is the Queen Breaker Vandals. They are actually going to be hiding in the catch. So you have to go up into the catch. Now, there's going to be a bunch of regular kind of level enemies through here. You can kind of clean them out. I actually went ahead and killed all them to save time here before I jumped in. But uh, we're going to go ahead and run up here to the catch. Now, if you guys haven't picked it up, there is a gold chest on the back end of the catch there, which usually gives you uh, a rare weapon. Of course, that's something you'll have to use during the campaign. It's not going to be anything at this stage in level 30s that's going to help you out. But you want to take out these vandals here, and then the guys you're looking for are actually going to be inside this main room here. And I believe they are stealth vandals. They are cloaked. Yeah, you can see them hiding in the back there. There's one of them. I'm just going to try to take these guys out. Another one. And you see, these guys are pretty, uh, pretty tough there because it just took three golden gun shots. And we got a new Grimoire card. Yeah, let's see. There's those wire rifles, those things can really put a, put a beating on you pretty quick. Our Vestian Dynasty here. This is another kind of a neat weapon you get in the House of Wolf expansion. Alright, there you go. So you take out the three stealth vandals there, and that is going to do it for that one. Queen Breaker Vandals is complete. So we have finished the three minor bounties for Petra. Now, of course, there are major bounties and minor bounties. The majors are for those... Um, the targets that you kill, which actually spawn the uh, the ether chest, the one that you can get the treasure keys and things out uh, for Prison of Elders. Now, I am going to probably try to do a video on those as well, because right now it's not real clear how exactly you are able to get keys besides farming those uh, patrol chests. So I'm waiting to find out some more information to see if Bungie gives us any more info on that. Also going to see if we get a key at the weekly reset from doing Prison of Elders. But we're going to see. As soon as I find any of that out, I'm going to make a video on how exactly to acquire those keys. Because I've got to imagine there's got to be a better way than just continually having to farm patrol bounties to get those. So, anyways, guys, it's been TechnoViking23 bringing you that quick guide on how to do some of the minor bounties you will get from Petra to get some quick Queen's of Wrath experience. We did the Queen Breaker Vandals, the Howling Raiders, and the Wolf Scavengers. Hope you guys have found this video helpful and it helps you out when you're hunting those wolf targets. So, anyways guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you again next time.